So my project is the hole punch binder. Oh, I'll just go with this. Uh, it's basically a hole puncher attached to a three ring binder. So you don't have to carry the hole punch bind hole puncher everywhere to put your papers in the binder. And the paper pieces that are hole punched will fall into the holes in the middle of the binder into the removable boxes underneath and they will catch them so I can remove them and throw away the paper paper pieces. And this is the picture of my own binder. And I think three ring binder is one of the best ways to organize your papers because it you can put as much as paper you want and you can divide it into as much as section you want. But there's a problem with the three ring binder is that you can't put the papers in the binder if you don't have the three holes. And this is how it looks without the <laughs> hole puncher. So I thought it would be nice if I attached the hole puncher with the binder. And that's how I came up with the idea. And here are some tools that I used. I used the bandsaw and the table saw to cut the plastic to make the box. And I used the drill to detach the spine of the binder from the binder. And I used the hot glue gun and epoxy glue to attach the hole puncher and the binder. And I used the uh, the uh, plastic bender to bend the plastic to make the box. And the problems and solutions, and the red ones are problems and the blue ones are solutions. Every, so the first problem is that every time I bend the plastic, the plastic curves sideways, sideways, so I wasn't able to make the shape that I wanted because the plastic always wants to go back to its normal shape when I, every time I bend the plastic. And it's because of the partial heated be because I was using a really thin and small plastic, the heat, the heat wasn't even to the, all the sides, so it was hard to bend. And the p solution was I had to bend it back to its normal shape every time it bent so I could make the intended shape. And the second problem is when I was cutting the binder, and the binder was made out of cardboard, and it wasn't that strong, and I used a jigsaw to cut the holes in the middle of the binder and every time I cut it with the jigsaw it ripped the entire cardboard piece out of the binder when I cut. So I made a shape, sharp stamp and, ha and hammered it on the cardboard so I can cut the piece out I wanted. And the materials and costs. The one three ring binder costs about three or four dollars and one hole punch, little hole puncher costs about two dollars and the 18 and 24 inches plastic cost $1.24 because I used just a part of it. And the total costs is about $7 and I'm going to sell it for about $9. And I'm going to sell it uh, mostly to the students because uh, they get a lot of papers from their teachers and they're, I'm sure they're going to have the exact same problems like me. They don't have hole puncher every, in every classes and they're not going to be able to organize their binder very well. And I did some patent search, and I found a similar project, and it's called the notebook binder, notebook hole puncher, and it goes on the three rings, and it stays with the paper. But why my project's better than the notebook hole puncher? The notebook hole puncher takes too much space, but my project is attached to the spine of the binder, and it's underneath it, so it takes less space. And with the notebook hole puncher in your binder, it's hard to flip papers with the hole puncher the notebook hole puncher. But my project doesn't really matter because the hole puncher is not located where the pr papers are and or with the papers. So thank you. Uh, I have two questions. I guess I need to be recorded, huh? Two questions. Uh, first one, uh, in some of your images you had there, words were put on the spine of the binder to say internships, arts. It seems like the way that you have this designed will be completely separate and it will completely break off and then you'll lose that identification of what that binder is until you clip, clip it back on. Uh, it doesn't really matter even if it's open, the paper will, st because the spine, the ring is round, the paper will still move. Not, not, not exactly. I mean the, the, the plastic part in the back that you imagine, if you end up losing that, you end up losing the tag that identifies it and 
Do you plan on this being sold as replacement parts or it being attached to the binder? It's not so clear. Uh, it's, it should be attached to the binder and it should be removable to throw away the paper pieces that are collected in the box. And then the second question I would like to ask is, how easy is it to use this hole puncher with papers in the binder? I have, I have this stack of papers here and I want to punch a hole. Will it be in the way? Will it be difficult? I tested it out a few times and it's harder with the papers in there, but it's still possible. I'm going to drive you guys crazy because I'm in manufacturing. Uh, let's go back to your cost sheet again. When you look at the cost, okay, oops. when you look at the cost, um, the, we have the cost, the physical cost for the materials using it. How about, how about labor? And that, so that would add, that would take away from your margin, and that's that's something you need to address in the future. I mean, if the labor costs two dollars, now you're not making anything. You see what I'm saying? You got to make sure you address all the costs, and when you address costs, and not just the physical costs, it's what it costs to actually produce the product at the end of the day. So that's important. And uh, if you get the price where you want it, how would you uh, think you'd sell this product? Who would who would you work with to sell it? Um, I'm gonna sell it to the comp big companies like Staplers, Staples. Through the big boys, through the big major distributor shops, houses, that's what you look. Fine, here. Thank you. So I'm hoping the, uh, the cartoon guys in the room can, can help me with some market research. So how many of you have one or multiple three-hole punch or three-hole binders? Raise your hand. Okay, and how many of you use that other product that was can we switch to the, the notebook hole punch photograph? How many of you have this product in your binders? Okay, so very, very few of you. And how many of you have papers that fall out of your binders frequently or somewhat frequently? <laughs> I think you solved the problem. I think that's a good thing. That's all. Anything else from you guys? Anything from the floor? Any questions? Thank you. Thank you.